All right, hey guys. Today, what we have is a Remington 552 Speedmaster, and I'm going to show you guys how to tear this thing apart. Um, they're super simple to take apart, but they're kind of they can be kind of you know daunting if you've never done it before. So first, we're going to start here. The correct size screwdriver. Take this guy out, and this screw here. Set that off to the side. We'll slide this forward, and this screw holds your whole barrel assembly in place. So what we can do now is there's a spring here. That's your spring for your um, charging handle. So this is super simple. You just grab tight, wiggle a little bit, and pull it straight out. And then what will happen is your bolt assembly come out with it. It's your bolt assembly. And then this will, will all stay together, but you got to hold on to your charging handle because that will slide forward. So that releases your spring tension on your charging handle. And then we can slide this guy back. And then here's your retainer screw for your magazine tube. So we'll take, I got to get the right size screwdriver here. So you don't want to mar those guys up. And this is just a, a tiny little screw. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit here. So this is just a tiny little screw that holds that guy in place. And then what we can do is we can slide our tube forward a little bit and then the spring will come off. Sorry, if I try to keep everything in picture here. And then we can pull our charging handle out. And then we can just pull our magazine tube straight up and that strips your barrel down. Um, if you want to take these off, these magazine retainers, um, you can get a the right size wrench or a crescent wrench and pat them if you want, if you're afraid to mar them, and then they just screw out. Just standard threaded. Same thing with this one. You can undo that. Um, rear sight base, simple, two screws. Get some more light here, shy guys. Or some of them have dovetails, so if you got a dovetail, like the front here, we can go from left to right and just drive that out with like a brass drift on the base there, ever so gently. So there's our barrel, our magazine tube of course, that's pretty simple if you want to take that out and clean that and that comes apart. Um, forearm, charging handle. Um, our bolt here. Uh, if you want to take that guy out, there's a retaining pin right there. Dun dun dun! dun. Yeah, bastard. Retaining pin. Retaining pin. So that'll slide out, and then your firing pin will come out. And then if your um, ejector, that's sh here's a retaining pin there. Um, after you get your firing pin out. You can drive that retaining pin out and then your extractor will come off. So that's not much to the bolt, it's pretty simple. If we want to take our trigger group out, like most Remingtons, it's way too simple. Push pin, push pin out, doesn't really matter which way you go. So those two pins come out and there's your trigger group. You can usually clean that uh, if you got like a toothbrush or a soft bristle brush. Dunk it some cleaner and you can clean it all off and then blow it off with air or whatever Q-tips and get in there and clean it. Um, you can take this all apart. Most time you don't really have to, but um, they're pretty simple to get back together. Just kind of just take a picture or something of you know how you how you took it apart. So there's that. And then if you want to. You can pull this guy out, 
this is just a, um, a retaining plate. And let me pop it out here. Let me think what I used last time. You get up underneath here. Actually, I know what I did. Slide it back a little bit because there's a clip up front here. And then we'll get underneath there to, to grab it. And I'm not going to pry on it. We're just not going to pry against anything. We're just going to grab it and pull it out. And then that pops right out of there. So that's just a little clip. It's got two tabs on the back, one tab on the front. So that's it. And then we can get in here and clean all this. If you want to take the shield off, two screws, simple enough. Um, if you want to take the butt, butt pad off, you pop these two screws off and there's a channel inside here and you usually need a flat headed screwdriver, a big one, you can see that's a pretty, I think it's a 10 inch or an 8 inch. And then that goes inside here and then you unscrew just a flat head screw and then that screws up into your receiver there. Easy peasy man, let's throw it back together. So we'll start with this piece again. And the easiest way I found to get these in is turn them upside down and ever so gently push them in. It takes a little bit of force, but you can push it in there. takes quite a bit of force actually it's there we go so after we get that to where we kind of want it and we can plop her forward you can hold it up with your finger and just push it ahead so there that guy's in there so now <clears throat> to put this all back together what I like to do is I like to put the trigger group in last so we'll, we'll zoom out here I like to do the trigger group last because it just seems to work better. So, kind of reverse operation of what we did here. We'll grab our barrel, get my tools out of the way here. Grab our barrel, grab our magazine tube. We'll put that in there. And next step, you gotta remember, get your forearm on there, because that goes on there first. So we'll slide that guy in there. And uh, before you do this, or while you do it, I usually, you know, you can wear gloves or um, oil this stuff down really good with your favorite gun oil, whatever you like to use. Um, keep it all nice and lubricated, light coat of oil. So then we kind of just slide that tube in there, and then here's the tricky part of getting these guys back together. So here's our spring, and we want to put it on our magazine tube. Or sorry, I lied. Charging handle, that's first. That goes on the left side. So that goes onto our magazine tube, and that can just sit there for now. And then our spring goes on. And see we got no tension on our spring? And we slide this magazine tube all the way up in there to approximately where we think it's gonna be. And then what we can do is we can come back here and there's usually a, a hole there where our magazine tube lines up with our screw. Get our screw back in there. And I'll just snug her down here. Okay, so now we got our front end assembly back on. Now here's the not so tricky part if you've seen it done, but we're going to pull our charging handle back, grab our bolt. The nice thing about these, uh, the bolt slides right back into the back of the barrel here. And then this notch, that bolt charging handle slides up in there, and then you can gently release your charging handle and it should stay there. Okay, and if you want a little extra security, you can 
slide this guy back up in there and that'll hold everything together. So next step, take our gun and I lost my step so what happens if you lose your charging handle. So you gotta kinda hang on to everything at once here. So we'll reset it. Get our charging handle back up in there. Actually I'm gonna get this out of the way and we'll hold it like this. That'll be better. And then I like to do it on this side. I didn't have it that way a minute ago, but that rail slides inside there. And then it's kind of, once you get this past there, it'll stay in there. And then make sure your little, uh, you can have the magazine tube out of here too. It might make life a little easier. But then we just ever so gently, it's going to be a, it's kind of a press fit, so it goes in there pretty tight. And then sometimes when you line this screw back up, sometimes you gotta pull it out just a tiny hair, a little bit. And then what I like to do to make sure it's lined up is I'll grab my screw and then I'll screw it in there and make sure it goes in there. It should, you should be able to screw it in there by hand. And then you know you're pretty, you're lined up pretty good. So there, it easily screws in there so I know we're lined up. Bring our forearm down, and we can pop that guy in there. And this is not the right screwdriver, so I'll grab another one. Snug her down. So there we go. Got that guy snugged. Then our trigger group. That's pretty easy, like most Remingtons. Just slides up in there. And it doesn't really matter if you put the front one in or the back one in first. I like to do the back one because it usually lines up right away. Uh, I can't. Sorry, I'm doing it at an angle here. So you guys can see. There we go. Lines up and it pops right in. And we'll get our front pin in. That right, guy, if you line it up. Usually pops right in. Use a plastic or a wooden dowel, and then there we go. There's our gun back together. So we can just check it, make sure everything works, make sure you got your screws tight, our guard is back in there, our pins are straight, and I'm just going to double check my uh, screw out here, make sure I Got it where I want it. So there we go. Not much to it, guys. Um, these things can be a little daunting. Uh, if you've never taken one apart, you should probably do it. Because in order to clean it properly, if you're having misfires and it's not firing, you gotta get this guy apart and clean out the inside of this receiver. You gotta clean out your bolt. Um, it just it's the nature of a 22, especially a some automatic 22s. They get gunked up and they get full of crap and they quit working. So, and to clean your barrel really good, um, it's a good way to, to take that barrel off and get it cleaned up pretty well. So, uh, the trickiest thing about this guy is getting this assembly all back in, trying to get it all held together. Um, but the way I showed it is probably the best way I think to do it, and it's a pretty simple, foolproof way to do it. So. So here you guys go, there's um, assembly, or disassembly and assembly sorry, of a Remington 552 Speedmaster. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you think it might come in handy for somebody else, please send it along, share it, like it, comment, and check out my video. I got a hundred other videos on guns and gunsmithing, machine work, and cars, and whatever else, a whole bunch of stuff. Check it out, it's a good waste of time. You might learn something too, so. Till next time, be safe and take her easy. See you guys next time, thanks. All right, <clears throat> here I'm gonna show how to take apart a Browning. Uh, this is a Challenger, but the buck marks are extremely similar. Just clean it up good and then uh, 
and we can throw it back together here a bolt body that I milled out for you guys um, there's the front of it you can see the firing pin hole run into problems that you may potentially break a firing pin if you dry fire